Hey Google, what's Kappa? <laughs> what's Kappa Carrot Janina? On? She doesn't even folklore. give you a minute to get your mouth together. I got something to make the devil go wrong. I got something to make the devil go wrong. What's up? It is Dos Vegan Sisters. I am Bianca. And Arshana. And we are back today with, surprise, surprise, more cheese. Are you minding me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Bianca found this really cool cheese company, the Goats Revolt, when she went to the vegan pop-up festival in Plano. And we're really excited to try it. Now the lady, she's a local DFW woman that she's been vegan for I think about six years, as what her website said and she decided that she was going to start making vegan cheese it's non-gmo all natural i didn't find too much about the ingredients online but i'm sure that they're on the actual label so we'll look at that when we actually start you know look at the cheeses i don't know how she makes it where she makes it i'm assuming at her home since she's you know it's a smaller company so we're excited to try it yeah i've been wanting to try the cheese since i first saw it at the um, vegan festival dfw vegan fest this past summer and the line was too long. I didn't want to wait in it. It was hot. It was just a whole debacle. That day was crazy. But um, I got to the vegan pop-up this past weekend. I got there super early. One of the first ones in, there was no line. So she has um, quite a few different products of cheese that she makes. She also makes a dry powder that turns into a cheese sauce. I didn't get that. What we did get was we got some mozzarella. It's super cute. It comes with a sprig of rosemary in the shape of a heart. We also got, uh, I forget what this was called. It had a very pretty name, but it's like a cheese, like a cream cheese spread. And the last thing we got, which sorry, I've opened this already. <laughs> uh, I haven't ate it yet though, is um, we also got some vegan white truffle Parmesan. So um, we also made <laughs> some pasta so that we could try this. So I thought we would go ahead and use the Parmesan on the pasta. So we're gonna look at the ingredients and what I like is right off the bat is that they're very simple on all three of the cheeses. Um, this is her vegan truffle Parmesan. And so what we're looking is raw organic cashews, coconut oil, nutritional yeast, which is nice to see in a vegan cheese because I haven't seen anyone yet. So that's kind of cool. Orga uh, organic apple cider vinegar and organic chickpea miso, Italian truffle oil, vegan lactic acid, and specially blended salt. Now she lets you know that there are nuts in here. But it sounds like she didn't go cheapy cheapy on this. That she did go, you know, with high end organic products and you know truffle oil and things like that, which is yeah. Which is you nice. don't see like some of those ingredients the like in the yeah. last um, thing we did for Biolife where we didn't know what it was and we thought maybe. It gave it the sweet smell. And Google didn't even know what that stuff was. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna try a little bit of all of it. This is um, a sausage from okay. Tofurky. Oh, Tofurky sausage. Just some regular pasta with some Parmesan. It's salty. That might be the pasta. It's got a really light taste. It's not like really Parmesan y. Yeah, it's kind of hard to like figure out, like deconstruct all the flavors once they're together and tell like, well, did the saltiness come from the water? We cook the pasta in, does this flavor come from the mock sausage and whatnot? So I thought we'd also go ahead and just taste it by itself. All right, so here's a little piece for you. A little, little piece. And then it kind of just looks like Play-Doh. <laughs> Everything looks, I don't know what my obsession with Play-Doh is. It still stinks, just to be straight up. I didn't even smell it. I'm so bad at this. Oh, that's not good. Why do I want to taste like that? I'm gonna taste like Parmesan cheese. Hmm. I thought it tasted a way too sweet when Parmesan is a very salty, mm -hmm. tart cheese. And I just, it maybe it's Parmesan-esque with the way that it shreds, but, um, I'm, I don't know. It tasted more like a smoked. I, I didn't like it. I'm not gonna lie. It didn't taste good to me. Um, it might taste good like in a dip, like if you were gonna like make a dip with vegetables or something for a party. But um, I wouldn't eat it if you served it. <laughs> I didn't like the way it tasted. 
Yeah, I don't think it really tasted like Parmesan. I don't think it was awful. I, I don't. I didn't like. Um, I didn't like some of the seasonings in there, and I think that's what the problem was. But it definitely wasn't a Parmesan. So the other thing that we are going to taste is this cream cheese spread. This is really pretty. It's got like some nice like decoration in it from some of the ingredients. I think that have been extracted. Oh, um, that is pretty. Yeah, so it's got organic raw cashews, probiotic acidophilus, um, filtered water, nutritional yeast, fresh vegetable blend, dried cranberry, kosher salt. And so it's, yeah, it's just pretty simple as well, just natural ingredients. This would look really pretty, like if you put it out, um, you know, on a plate with some crackers. It would look I'm really, really good. hard time opening this. Just rip it, rip it. <laughs> so this is kind of like what it looks like. This is kind of like what it looks like in there. It's got a very cream cheese texture. We have um, some of my famous sourdough toast. I think I put like way too much on there. I'll save that for the other piece. This one's for Darshana because we don't share well. It smells like cream cheese. It does have a cream cheese smell. It doesn't have a weird process after it smell. I'm going to smell it straight from the... Mm -hmm. It's my nostril. Sorry, I just shoved it right up there. Up in my nose. There you go. Oh, wait a second. Oh, oh her food. Oh, pause. We gotta give our reaction though. Oh, yeah. Mmm, it's good. Yeah. Don't know if it's the toast. It's not even the toast. Hold on. I gotta put more. I have to put more of that cheese on there. Cause that tastes like cream cheese. That's good. That's really good. Yep. That's good. It's got like some like nice acidity to it. it tastes a lot like cream cheese. It doesn't taste fake. It doesn't have any weird after flavor. No, it's really good. It's it's, it's obviously not cream cheese because you know it doesn't have that saltiness. But I like that. It's very um, it's it's great. This is good. <laughs> okay, but our last one I'm really kind of excited about because this was like my one of my favorite cheeses when I was not a vegan. It was mozzarella cheese, and we haven't been able to find anything really close to mozzarella cheese since ever so again this is the one that looks like the little heart it's super cute would, again it look really pretty on a plate so it comes with a little fresh basil which smells amazing. rosemary fresh rosemary smells delicious all right so i got cream cheese on my fingers so what are we going to eat this with by itself okay we're going to have it by itself so let me cut you off a little sliver there's a little sliver for you i mean like, we could have like maybe I'm just gonna try it by itself. We're gonna go gangster on this one. You can really smell the rosemary. What's in here? Let me put the rosemary back in the container and tell you what's in here. Organic soybeans, water, organic coconut oil, tapioca flour, herb spice blend, garlic, kappa carriage, canon, vegan lactic acid kosher salt, I think that says something else, and I don't have my glasses on. I think. Hey Google, what's kappa carrageenan? On the website modernistpantry.com, they say a natural hydrocolloid carrageenan is a natural extract from specific red seaweed species that are farmed and processed. It is used as a suspending and emulsifying stabilizer, thickener, binder, and jelly agent. Okay. okay. Thank so you. it's from seaweed, maybe it has that umami flavor that you it did. It did mention umami flavor on her website. I just didn't remember what cheese it was about, so maybe it was this one. All right. All right, here we go. Like we said, it's really got that rosemary smell. Yes, it's very... kind of smells like my Meyer soap that smells like rosemary. It's very soft. It's got a garlic taste to it. I think it tastes really good. It doesn't taste like mozzarella. No, but it tastes but it really tastes good. It tastes really good. It just doesn't taste like mozzarella. It tastes more like a cheese spread. Yeah. It tastes like a cheese spread. It's really good, just like the cream cheese one. Yeah, that's that's great. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. 
I don't know that you would actually be able to use it like in the typical mozzarella sense. Like I don't know if you would want to spread that on a lasagna or some type of baked pasta or it might be really good in a salad, you know, something like that. It's got a lot, a lot of seasoning in it. Yeah, it has a lot of flavor, so it's really going to dominate whatever you put it in. And cheese usually has a great flavor, but it's like salty, so it doesn't like overwhelm other flavors that you put it in it. But these were really good, really good for um, for cheeses. We've had a lot of losers. I liked two out of three of these. I don't think that the Parmesan was bad. I just didn't like the seasoning that was in it. Yeah, it was something in there that was off-putting. So maybe if you get something that has a little bit more traditional Parmesan flavor. Because even though your the other two cheeses that she did were not traditionally tasting like what... I mean, the cream cheese was spot on. And it was pretty. So you can really use it to decorate you know, a plate with. But... This mozzarella cheese didn't taste like mozzarella, but it was good enough that I would just use it as a different type of cheese. Mm -hmm. You know, like a cheese spread on toast or something like that. Yeah, I use it for a cheese platter. You know, you go to all, I go to like a lot of um, patron parties and, and, and events, and they always have cheese platters. No cheese for me, but these are a couple cheeses that people can buy locally that they can put on a platter for a couple of vegans. I would be super happy. You know, get a little agave, some, some prunes or something, not prunes, figs. Some figs. And I mean, you can put prunes if you want to. <laughs> it's not typically what you put with cheese, but who cares? Oh my god, I was at the grocery <laughs> store with my friend the other day, and I was like, I can't really eat anything. Like I've been living off box max max the boxed mashed potatoes, and so we were at CVS trying to find something for me to eat, and she's like, you can get some prunes or some dried fruit, and I'm like, bitch, you don't really even understand what is going on. I cannot chew. How am I gonna go downtown? <laughs> oh. <laughs> How am I going to eat prunes? I don't know if she was going downtown with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Prune? We got prune, she... we're getting physical. She's... I was hangry. Yeah, she was hangry with her prune. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you know, it was really good. Um, you can buy this at Reverie Bake Shop and pop-up shops throughout the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I did not find any information on whether or not she ships, but there is um, a portion of her webpage that you can send questions to. So... I wouldn't assume that this would ship well, um, unless she was doing it with like, you know, mad ice and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, this is not going to ship well. This was a local um, taste test, so sorry for those of you who do not live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. But again, if you guys have any food you want to see us try, let us know down below. I'm getting kind of sick of cheese, and I bet you guys are probably getting sick of seeing us try cheese. So if you have any other suggestions, let us know. Um, don't forget to like this video and share it, and we hope you guys have a good weekend. Bye.